My name is Deron Chavis, urban farmer, community activist, and food justice advocate. Join me and my comrades as we talk resiliency, community, social justice, and why black space matters. My name is Deron Chavis and we're here at the Resiliency Garden at the Institute for Contemporary Art and you're tuned into Black Space Matters. I'm here with Ashley Williams of Barisol Yoga yeah. and today we really wanted to talk about what does Black Space Matters mean to her and what does the term resiliency mean to you? You know, who is Ashley Williams and what is it that you find as your passion? Yeah. I lead with that my core values are really grounded in love, liberation, and community or connection, mm -hmm. centered around finding ways to like love on myself mm -hmm. so that that ripples into the spaces and the people that surround me. Mm -hmm. And so my mantra is to lead with love, and I really believe that finding spaces and ways to love, to nourish myself, to care for myself, to, to tap into my own innate love is a way that I find liberation and freedom mm. in my world. And it's also my way to connect with others mm. and building relationship with them. And so that's, that's who I am. I really strive to maintain constant love throughout my life, mm. but I really strive just to show up to who I am each yes. and every day. And so my why is just to create connection. Nice. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Bare Soul Yoga and the work you do through that platform. Yeah, so Barisol Yoga is a community-based, well, started out as a community-based organization, really just to create accessible and approachable ways to wellness mm. through the vehicle and the principles and practices of yoga mm. and meditation. And so I founded yoga for my own personal well-being in 2012 mm. um, at a time where I needed to create space for my own well-being, wow. at a time during grief, at a time during loss. And during that time, I found this like space and this skill that was helping me manage. And so Bare Soul Yoga became to me a way that I shared my own journey with the world, specifically my family and my friends in the black community and my community. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really have this access to the practice of yoga. Sure. And so I was working in the mental health agency during that time, being able to insert the practice and philosophy of yoga in those spaces became like the grounding of bare soul. Mm, okay. Yeah. How does, you know, this communal activity of love sharing and, and, and space creation, especially through the platform of uh, bare soul and, and your yoga practice, mm -hmm. how do you feel like that connects to this theme of black space matters? So for me, um, black space matters really just means that, that we need and that there should be space for black people to be and to just access all parts of their being without any barrier, whatever that barrier may be, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, financially. Mm -hmm. And when all those barriers are removed, we're able to access like who we are. True because we're able to rest in those spaces. And so I am a true believer that, you know, us as humans are founded in love, right? And for us to access that, we have to be well. And to me, that's really important because wellness is not just a birthright, but it's also something that determines how we operate and live. Yeah, right. And so, when it comes to creating space for people to be, for black people to be well, it means that somebody can be invited in mm -hmm. to completely rest in yeah. who they are. Right, right, right. Rest in, you know, showing up in any emotion that they're experiencing. But it's a time for us just to kind of be in our own space, acknowledge who we are, celebrate who we are, feel in who, who we are, mm -hmm. and, um, and do it in a way where we're supported. One of the themes that uh, has risen over the last eight months in light of COVID, in light of, you know, even the rebellions that have occurred has been this theme of resiliency. How would you interpret your work through the lens of building resiliency? Resiliency to me is inherent. It's just whether or not we're aware of our inherent resilience. But mindfulness is 
to me like a key and a tool to building and understanding our resilience. Um, the definition of mindfulness is really just to be present in your moment, mm. to tap into our feelings, to tap into our thoughts, to tap into our experience um, in a way that's accepting and non-judgmental and it acknowledges who we are. Mm. This is our experience and rather than resisting or avoiding it, mm we allow ourselves to see it clearly. Mm. And so that to me is resilient. There's so many things that are gonna distract us or be happening in our environment, mm -hmm. but our resiliency is inherent. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Having space for us to rest is also in tantamount to connected to our resiliency. Is that, yeah. is, is, is that correct? Mm -hmm. So tell us more about um, the work of this new space that you all have created this space comes at the right time and at a time that seems very divine based on you know what's happening in our climate mm -hmm. and what we see politically, what we see um, generationally, what we're seeing right now, um, I think is an invitation to, to rest, to rest our minds, to rest our nervous systems. Mm -hmm. And um, where we're located is right in the, in the heart of Shaco Bottom. Mm -hmm. And the energy is just so dense there. Yeah, right. And, the practices, mindfulness and meditation and community and centering family, all of the things that can and have the opportunity to invite us back into our humanity, into our love, like that's kind of the intention right now for this space. And so we are there practicing, offering, um, engaging in various mindfulness practices, nice. things that center um, love for ourselves, mm. Um, things that are actually like pleasant and unpleasant, right? Mm -hmm. We're having tough conversations about who we are. Wow. Um, we're having tough conversations about how we all engage with each other. Mm -hmm. The invitation into this space is for everyone to come in, especially um, the black community and especially people that identify and that feel the, just feel, feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to, talk a little bit about the connections between like mindfulness yeah and like connecting back to the land growing plants mm -hmm. and etc like how does that yeah. how do you interpret that for yourself i come from a family of farmers current moment time and life and living in a city mm -hmm. and you know being an entrepreneur has removed me from that space and so my mindfulness showed up in a lot in lots of different ways mm -hmm. so I received the Resiliency Garden box, I guess in the middle of the summer when things had slowed down, but also a time where, you know, there was space, but there was also lots of emotion and feeling. To me, the garden really connected me back to like who I am at my essence. I was able to take a space and like feel, right? Explore my senses, which seems so like explore our senses, but to really like feel the earth from which I come and from which my family comes put something into the things that I put into my body. And so it was a way of like nourishing that I actually didn't probably know that I needed. Mm. And it opened up conversation with like me and my grandparents mm. about growing our own food. And it wow. made me like go back to the, the support system that I have. And um, I spent a lot of time talking to my family about, you know, their experiences growing up. And so I'm always reminded of their resilience. Mm. And mm. so this gave me just like one more thing to connect with them on nice. and to understand, because I truly believe that I would not be who I am or where I am if I didn't like reach back and really settle into um, time spent with my ancestors, both in the physical, but in the present, but Certainly. also like energetically. Certainly. And so that was like a part of connecting for me because I could talk to my grandpa about like, growing garlic nice. right and like what was his experience and why wow. yeah. so nice. what's making you excited for you know the months to come as we enter into this new season mm -hmm. you know new administration what's piquing your interest and what's making you excited right now i'm noticing just so much acknowledgement of like who we actually are mm. and i want to see more of that because we each have this opportunity to offer and to contribute to our world. And it all looks differently. 
but I'm really looking for like this spiritual humanitarian like energy mm-hmm. just to kind of to level up and lead our way forward. And I think that that I know that that is going to be really expansive Mm. for how we continue to move forward as a community and as a collective Mm. um, and really get back to to us. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate you. Thank you for all your work and um, inviting me into this beautiful space.